Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Tuesday the 21st of July comes to you from London and uh, the dollar is still sinking lower so we're taking out the June low so that's quite significant and we're now looking to this March low so dollar weakness is still a theme uh, on that short term chart we're definitely um, bearish and on the euro we're seeing that long term transition looking uh, quite good and we are quite close to taking out the March high so that is also very significant we see here on the chart. Uh, remembering this is my long term, my medium term and my short term view, weekly, daily, 60 minute. If we take a look at sterling, we're sitting at 126.80, so that's quite a rise against that weaker dollar. Uh, and again, we're we're not quite making it past the June high, but we are seeing uh, sterling uh, turning around there. And against the euro, we've seen a bit of recovery this week as well. Uh, we were below 110, we're back above, so... Um, but overall, sterling is still drifting lower generally against the euro. Uh, taking a look at Bitcoin, slightly up, uh, sitting at $9,300, so a bit of a jump today, but still very much stuck in those low, low 9,000s area. Uh, the S&P 500 X had a, quite a strong showing yesterday, taking that June high now, so we're looking stronger again in the market. And the NASDAQ, an all-time closing high um, as well, not passing last week's high as we see here on the chart. <coughs> but closing at a new all-time high all-time closing high uh the dow jones 100 uh, sorry the dow jones uh, 30 index up very slightly and the futures today up quite strongly so it does look like the market is taking um things in its stride and the nasdaq um, looking set to go a further one percent higher today so um, the appetite is there that means the vix volatility is dropping gently as the markets increase what we'd expect to see uh, and so the the june low we saw for the vix is actually now coming under pressure meaning that um we're back in bullish mode ready. Looking at the FTSE future up half a percent, the DAX cash is up one and a half percent. Markets are generally pretty cheery. Um, so we're seeing a, a big move there in the DAX uh, holding on there and the CAC Courant up one percent as well. Tokyo was up a third of a percent, the Hang Seng up two percent in Hong Kong. So we are seeing here uh, that medium term trend holding, but not quite back into bullish territory. And of course, we've still got a lot of work to do on the long term chart. The Shanghai Composite um, was up slightly. Um, we're still uh, redressing the fall we saw last week in that weekly candle there. The Sensex up 1.2% and the Aussie market jumped 2.6%, so a very big jump there. Uh, we are just seeing overall improvement in sentiment. Gold hits 1821, uh, so that's the highest level we've seen for several years, so 2009, and uh, we've hit that uh, 1820 target that was given, so that's looking stronger. And silver is above $20 as well, so that looking very, very bullish now, breaking to new highs, so um, uh, looking very good there as well. Taking a quick look at uh, the energy mix, uh, we've got Brent crude up 0.4% this morning, uh, so we're back towards the top of the range at the moment, and uh, WTI also up half percent, so we're looking stronger there as well. US nat gas uh, sitting at 165. The chart is still pretty bearish uh, in the downtrend there, and we do have a downside target to 160 if we break below this uh, 164 level again. Coal is up one and a half percent, and emissions have, uh, have um, turned around this morning, and we've got a new upside target to 29.15, not yet activated. We do have these downside targets. But for the moment, um, we're seeing uh, a rise off the lows that we saw yesterday. Potential new target here on this chart on emissions to uh, 28.37, so uh, quite significant there. MBP is up 5% this morning, uh, so we're seeing um, a move there. And TTF is up 2%, so seeing a little bit of a recovery in gas prices. But the fact that we have fell below that 5 euro level on TTF front month is a worry. Winter gas up 1.5%. And German power holding on to the 40 euro mark, having fallen back quite significantly yesterday. Um, that's quite key now that we're there and we've got an upside target to 42.10. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.